<laughs> times of change or times of opportunity. I mean, and I'm a hopeless optimist, so I will just tell you that I say ride those waves of change. The Wall Street Journal had an article a year or so ago that said the most disruptive force in technology today is you and me. Because we have these expectations about the way we're going to live our lives, and that smartphone platform we have in our pocket guides all our, you know, the way our expectations are for at work. And so how can we actually move forward and make that a reality? It is going to be a mobile, digital world, and we're going to get over this need for personal control and, and go past server huggers to recognizing that you want to use commercial best practices, commercial solutions that allow you to do your job from anywhere to get the job done. We're going to recognize the need for substantive process change because you know technology always works best when it's, it's aligned to optimize processes rather than just adding a shiny object to an antiquated process. And as the point that's already been made here, you have this wonderful nexus of uh, the digital world and the physical world being connected. So whether you're talking about IoT or process robotics or AI, there's a tremendous way to provide more effective decision making and, and mission outcomes that are in real time, right? Because we're connected and, and we're not limited by the fact that we have stovepipe systems that work in vacuums and create these air gaps between systems. So let's go. We've